Omega Day. Welcome back to Let's Homestead Instead. I'm Steph and this is take two of the video about scaly chicken feet and that's caused by mites. Um, I did upload a video about two weeks ago on that but the quality with quality is always nice when I'm doing it with my phone directly and then once I upload through my phone just like with quick editing from my, my cell phone it's like it's all blurry and uh, the light is like very shimmery so hopefully this one will be a better one um so i'm down to treatment number two on treating there's uh three chickens two rhode island red hens and one rooster that need to be treated because they have scaly feet now you don't want that on your chickens because um it's a sign of mites so we're lucky to have like sections that are very well, um, like it, it's keeping them separate from the other chickens, which means that the other chickens do not have scaly feet. But we do prevent all the time with uh, DE, that is diatomaceous earth. And uh, this other stuff is more for like treating the dusting powder. Um, I actually use that after I finished treating with the um, natural remedy which is what I use is in a spray bottle I will mix a cup and a half of water what I do is I mix four drops of lavender four drops of spearmint and three drops of rosemary essential oil or thyme either or I think um, and this one I believe it's thyme so three drops because it that the, the um, all the herbs that you use to uh, cook and stuff will the smell will come out uh, very strong I can still smell the the spearmint in this one but what I do is I spray their legs and then I coat them with little Vaseline so I'm gonna do this for you right now bear with me might be funny because uh, last time on my last video I actually dropped the rooster like they're literally bonked them on the head rooster that's uh, visiting for um, reproduction purposes and he's very loud very loud he's an Americana I call them loud mouth okay come on now come on flame well because she was scaly and she's not anymore and this is treatment number three some people that have had a chance to actually watch that video ask me well how often do you have to do it I would recommend every third day sorry loud mouth here third day every third day for a while I said three weeks on my video that was a mistake I meant to say three days. Now all you do, I just, whoops, my phone's on the tripod here. All I do is I sprayed the legs. I just push pushed it everywhere. Pardon my French. I push pushed it. And then I just coat them with Vaseline. Like so. And I mean, be generous on coating with the Vaseline because that's what seals everything in there and then to be on the safe side I'm gonna put a little bit of dusting powder just to finish her off here which is not really necessary All right, sweetheart. now I gotta get the rooster because he's, he's actually so much. and you don't want to sell your birds And uh, you, um, that's the caution band from there. Just yelled. What's going on? You don't want to sell your birds with scaly feet. You want them to have nice, perfect feet. So, making sure. He's actually way better, though. Right, Flame? 
good looking guy, him. He's got a nice comb. And he's been a very, very good reproducer. I have, I'll show you my batch of uh, this year's new kids, new chicks. From this guy here. And uh, now I'm on to trying to um, breed the Koshin Bantam, which is also a dual purpose bird, with uh, some of the Rhode Island Reds because I want them to be more robust, have a bit more meat on them, but I also, I want them to lay. So, the fact that they're a good layer, the Rhode Island Red that is, mixed with my Bantam, my Koshin. I'm hoping to get more meat. Good boy, Fling. Good boy. Now, that is not necessarily the correct way to catch a chicken. But sometimes you just do what you gotta do. I'm sorry, darling. And now she's actually, she's my sweetheart here. Now her legs are still quite scaly. And I'm not liking that. I'm not even in the camera here. I didn't even put that dusting powder on the rooster, but he wasn't too, too bad, so. Yeah, she's probably the worst. I don't like what I'm seeing here. So this is what I've been doing to treat scaly feet with my chickens, either Vaseline, well, the essential oils, and then Vaseline or mineral oils. Uh, if any of you out there have any other tips, I'd sure appreciate to hear about them. Because uh, this is common, guys, like it's, it happens, especially during the winter time. But fortunately, none of the other ones have him, nothing. All right, darling, you're done. Okay. okay, I'm so sorry to have disturbed the peace here. Good thing you had already laid your eggs. Okay, there we go. Now, so I'm going to give you a quick coop update. Now, sorry if it's uh, the, the, the quality of this video, the phone is a little wobbly because it's just standing there on a cardboard box. But I'm gonna give you I'd like to give you an update on uh, the coop here and what's going on. Uh, I'll show you first our chicks uh, this year. So what we have in this batch here, so what you're seeing here is uh, some uh, leghorns. Three of them are actually a leghorn mix with the Americana. Um, that's just an experiment for this year. And um, we have three pure Rhode Island Reds from, uh, from Flames line. And I believe we do have a rooster in there, which I'm not as pleased with, but not so disappointed anymore because we do use our roosters. There's a, there's a video coming up on that where I explain on how to, don't waste your roosters, I mean, good meat on them. You just have to know how to cook them. So they're due for some more water, and I will be giving them some water. Just so here's some, um, his name is Cushion, uh, Lily named him. You know, instead of saying Koshin, she was called him Cushion. Uh, he's a, you know, let me get in here because these girls, I just think he's, He's a pet. Basically very, very friendly. Beautiful guy. Look at those feet. Hi there, Cushion. Hi, buddy. We really like that rooster, but is he going to do his job? 
We'll see. We have three hens in here with him. Stop pecking at me, girls. Stay in. And here is uh, Loudmouth. So uh, he comes from um, Ronnie. He's uh, from R and R Farms. And what happened is that both he and us were out of. I was out of a rooster of the Americanas, and uh, he was. He had no more hens, so we stuck him in here. And what happened in the beginning is that um, little Chippy, our first hatcher from last year, beat him up. He uh, <coughs> she made him bleed. He was bleeding right there on the nose there, so or on the forehead, I should say. And uh, he's okay now, and he's mounting her, so we just want little Chippy here to start laying eggs again. She's a little stressed right now, probably, so... She's very domesticated, but the, that should make some pretty good-looking chicks right there. That's yeah, right, buddy. Okay, so over here we have Two Face, and Two Face has her nesting box there. She ate all the hay in there. I'm gonna have to add some more because uh, she's about to have her kits, and she's supposed to have them either tomorrow or after tomorrow. And I will update you on that. First batch of bunnies this year. And unfortunately, here's an empty stall. And here we had Trixie, guys. She passed this weekend. And uh, that was a bummer. Really liked her. And over here we have Trickster. He's our main buck. Still super healthy. And so we're going to be breeding him with Lily's Rabbit Midnight. Because we're short of pregnant bunnies right now. So, this is the coop update. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Till next time.